Hi everyone, Spider-Man1991 here. Uh, last, a uh, few months ago, I did a review about the 9th and 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver and the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Well, I've got two more Sonic, two more Doctor Who devices that I want to review, and this is the first one of them. Well, first of the two, though. Uh, my, this video is about the Master's Laser Screwdriver. Uh, this review might be a little difficult to do because I left my tripod at my house and I don't have it with me, so it's going to be a little difficult to do this, but okay. This is the screwdriver used by the other, by another Time Lord called, known as the Master. The Master is pretty much the opposite of the Doctor, whereas the Doctor wants to explore the universe, the Master wants to control it and rule it, and pretty much take over the world. Now then, the laser screwdriver, it features two no it features two sound effects. First of all, you press this button and it extends, pre just press it like maybe for like a half a second and you get the laser killing sound effect. And if you hold it down, then you get the then that's the feature used to age the doctor which was seen in The Sound of Drums and Last of the Time Lords when the Master used used technology from Professor Lazarus, which was age-defying age technology, and he used it to age the doctor to somehow... I'm not entirely sure how it worked, but basically he get, made the doctor age 100 years, like... Oh yeah, he, sus he called it suspending the regeneration process, so the doctor looked... A hundred years, and then made him, and they suspended all the regenerations, and made the Doctor nine hundred years old, which made him look like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Okay, maybe not Gollum, but still, something like that. And this is pretty much the screwdriver extended, and also it features an adjustment dial right here. Uh, camera. Yep, yep. This little part right here adjusts. If you can hear that, you can hear like a little groove, swivel, right, and. All right. Now the laser screwdriver, I like it. It's loud and it is bigger than the Tenth Doctor's sonic screwdriver. See, here's the tenth and size comparison, and you see that this is bigger. But when they're extended here and here, then they look to be about the same size. But when they're both extended, they're about the same size. And this. And the eleventh Doctor's is still bigger than, well, when it's retracted, it's not as big, but still bigger than all of them. Okay, all right. Uh, what else can I? Say? Oh yeah, I got this on eBay in an auction for about how much was it? It cost me about forty, uh, thirty-seven dollars, and I did look at some other sites and stuff, and they're pre. And this is this toy has been. Di I think it's been discontinued, so. It's hard to find, and it's very expensive. I have seen some other stuff, other offers on eBay, but they're like, the lowest price I could ever find was like $40. And you have to be careful when you look at them, though, because there was another toy set of, another version of the laser screwdriver, along with the 10th Doctor Sonic, that was like an interaction laser tag set that came with a little Toclophane sphere. But you have to be careful, though, because sometimes when you go to an auction, you might accidentally bid on not this one, the other one that's just... Although you can tell because normally you'd see like five li a row of five lights on this part of it, but it's not. So this is the good version, I'd call it. Alright, so that pretty much concludes my review of the laser screwdriver. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, may Be careful when you buy it used, because I bought this one used. It... And it worked fine for like three days, but on the third day, the sound started to get scratchy. Well, the sound for the laser effect got scratchy, so yesterday I replaced the batteries and it started to work fine. It worked well again, but then this morning somehow it went through some weird scratchy thing, and then all of a sudden it worked fine again. So, I don't know if that's a glitch or something, but you may want to take a look, but just be careful when you buy it used. So far, it's working fine now. Yep, works fine, so... Uh, this is Spider-Man 1991 saying, see you later.